food crops and cash crops major crops grown in the world can be grouped in following two categories food crops include all cereals pulses oil seeds beverages and tubers rice wheat maize or corn and millets are the main cereals rice farming rice was grown in india more than 5000 years ago it perhaps originated from india and spread to other parts of the world rice is obtained from paddy which is processed in mills bran and husk are used as fodder and also as fuel about one half of the world population including whole of east asia use rice as their staple food cultivation of rice paddy requires high temperature of over 20 degree celsius to germinate bloom and mature rainfall of 100 cm to 150 cm is required for it paddy is mainly cultivated in india china japan bangladesh indonesia thailand and myanmar it is mostly consumed in countries where it is grown some of the good quality rice is exported to other countries thailand and myanmar known as rice bowl of world are chief exporters of rice wheat farming wheat is grown under a wide range of climatic conditions from siberia to the tropical regions however it is the main crop of temperate region it requires cool weather and a rainfall between 40 cm to 75 cm at the time of ripening there should be clear sky otherwise the ripened crop is damaged the rainfall between 30 cm to 80 cm is ideal for its cultivation loam is the most suitable soil for its cultivation in north america the wheat varieties are classified into winter and spring wheat china india usa france canada russia turkey germany australia etc are the major producers of wheat most of the wheat produced in european countries are consumed within the region hence more of these countries import wheat usa canada australia and argentina are the main exporters of wheat they share 3/4 of the total sale of wheat in the international market europe is the major buyer of wheat cotton farming cotton is one of the world's leading agricultural crops used to produce clothes cotton is classified on the basis of the length of the fiber as short staple medium staple and long staple cotton the long staple cotton is used to produce linen and strong quality of cloth it grows in areas where the temperature is between 30 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius it requires rainfall between 60 cm to 100 cm alluvial soil and black soil are best suited for cotton plants it requires cloud free and sunny days and uniformly high temperature in india cotton is produced to a large extent in maharashtra gujarat punjab and haryana jute farming jute is obtained from the bark of jute plant stem it is native plant of the ganga brahmaputra delta wherever bulky strong fabrics and twines resistant to stretching are required jute is widely preferred its production cost is also low it grows well in drained sandy loam and requires warm and humid climate jute plants require temperature of more than 25 degrees celsius and rainfall of over 125 cm per year it is a major fiber crop grown intensively in southeast asia india bangladesh and china produce 85% of the world's production jute is also produced on a small scale in myanmar nepal thailand and brazil bangladesh is the world leader in jute production in the international jute market 
Jute faced a tough competition for development of synthetic gunny bags. But the government of India to making efforts to promote its products because being natural fibers, they do not damage the environment. Hemp, flax, albaca, sisal, etc. are the other substitutes of jute grown in different parts of the world. Sugarcane farming The most important commercial crop of tropical countries is sugarcane. Sugarcane is a member of the grass family and is a tall tropical variety with a hard, thick stem and sugar is stoned in them. It is believed that the plant originated in Eastern Asia and was taken to Middle East and Southern Europe by Arab traders in the Middle Ages. The Portuguese realized the profits to be made from growing sugar and produced it to their colonies in Madeira and the Canary Islands and later to Brazil in the 16th century. From Brazil, it spread to West Indies and Caribbean countries. It has also been introduced to Africa, especially natal in South Africa, Australia, Hawaii and Fiji. Now, sugarcane is cultivated in most part of the tropical countries. Sugarcane is a tropical plant, therefore requires a year of warm weather to reach maturity. The areas having temperatures of 20 degrees Celsius to 26 degrees Celsius and an average rainfall of 150 centimeters are suitable for its cultivation. In many areas, water is partly supplemented by the canals. Much sunshine is required, particularly at the end of the growing season, to produce cane with high sugar content. Sugarcane grows well in alluvium and light clay soil. Moist clay loam with good drainage is the best soil for cane. As the crop is a valuable one, large amount of fertilizers are used to increase the yield. Sugarcane cultivation also needs sufficient capital and labor.